Good morning. It's bright and early. It's daylight savings. So I'm all thrown off. So let's do something different. So I'm start vlogging. Um, so what I do first is I get up. I try to get up before my daughter. Shout out to Soul. So I'll come to my handy dandy iPad to do this because I'm trying to be paperless out here. Like I got a whole printer down here, but I'm trying to not use it. Um, so yeah, man, as you see, these green things with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, those are honestly the things that I try to do every single day. So I come through and I just clear this out. I'm going to rewrite it. Let me actually do that and I'll come back and we'll, you know, get this day going. So I ditched my espresso maker and we went with the old school, you know what I'm saying? The boiler ain't had no fancy high tech espresso maker. So give me the, you know, give me the original, you know, espresso pot. You know, I like to keep it real. I like to keep it authentic. And you know what I'm saying? I don't drink the whole pot, but that's first on me. So now I gotta wash all these damn bottles. So I just want y'all to, you know, to know my life ain't sweet, bro. I gotta manage these two companies and these bottles. So we about to get through these bottles. I'm gonna put them in a big pizza. I sterilize my bottles every day. Um, first time parent, I don't know, but I feel like they're not clean unless I sterilize them. So let's go ahead and get these bottles clean, sterilize them so we can move on to the next part of the day. Because as you see, oh boy, we got the day. The 5 a.m. club, that's a book I'm reading. So I actually like to start every day with a book if I can. I ain't got time to go to the gym like I used to because, you know, I got a baby. So I'll just knock out two in the push-ups a day. These are posts. So I'm trying to make sure my marketing is on point. So all of this, that's all marketing right there. And as you see, it's permanent. This doesn't come off my to-do list. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Every single day. When I'm done with this book, it's going to be a different book. Down here, these are the little things that I just picked up that I need to do. So I try to keep it going. I try to keep moving. I try to make sure that I do one major thing a day to kind of push growth. Because as you see, I got my little vision board kind of cars here. Um, I'm a dreamer. I'm kind of excited for this vlog. No lie, I'm kind of enjoying this. I'm about to, I'm about to vlog it up, boy. You about to, woo, it's about to be some vlogging. You know, let me write that down, boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Vlog. What the fuck is he talking about? See, this ain't right. I don't know if you realize, but their audio is not synced. Um, being an AV guy, I know. I know unsynced audio. That's freaking weird. I don't like it. That throws me off. Fix it. So I done made this bottle. A little girl done woke up before I could wash them. And now she fighting me, trying to get it. Wait, little girl. Let me feed this baby, I'll be back. She beats my ass until I feed her. So this is why I gotta wake up extra early to get my stuff done. Cause when this little girl hungry, she hungry. Oh, as you see, I got three Katushas now. I don't know if you would call them Katish, cause it's plural now. Um, but it's basically my name, Shanika's name, my wife's name, and Callie's name. I would turn it, but as you see my other hand, oh, is she holding it? You holding this? No. I'll show it to you later. So, after breakfast, I bring her her room for playtime. So we'll go in her crib, and we watch Miss Rachel. Well, she watches Miss Rachel because daddy got to go back to work. So, you know, just let her chill, let her vibe, let her learn. Have your baby watch Miss Rachel. Songs for Little. Look, they love it. Look at the smallest little girl face. She just turned six months yesterday. And she just can't get enough of it. She's been watching Miss Rachel since she was, what, three months, two months? Honestly, she came home watching Miss Rachel. So, highly recommended. You like Miss Rachel? You like Miss Rachel? You like Miss Rachel? Tell them you like Miss Rachel. Say, girl, Miss Rachel is who you need to watch. Also, random baby tips. This little remote right here, oh my gosh, can I borrow this? Can I borrow this please? Thank you. The buttons don't work, it's all rubber, but she loves to feel it and chew on it. So if your baby be fucking up your remote, get them the chew moat. Hell doogie. There you go. She ain't paying me no mind because Miss Rachel over there on. Also, they freaking love anything that make that paper sound. She's a very big sensory baby. Like she loves sensory. She loves to feel and like she'll do that. She'll squeeze it. It has a squeaker, but she don't care about it. But she do. Get my hey, hey. crazy ass dog. So the squeaker is more so for the dogs in your house. But this sound right here, she loves it. You like this? Show them. Feel this. Yes, sir. Uh, look at that. I told you. This thing 
she puts it in it while I put it in the refrigerator. You know, just because she like to chew. So again, more sensory, bro. Sensory, sensory, sensory. Um, this is probably her favorite thing because it's electronic. And guess what? You hear that? So if you got something that make that sound, your baby's going to go nuts over it. So a little parenting tip. Oh, I always wanted to give a parenting tip. <gasps> a parenting tip. Um, this thing is cool, but she, she just wrestles with it. She loves this. Loves it. Do I got the thing? You ain't got a thing, but you know, she anything sensory. She loves it, right? You like sensory? Mm -hmm. So then I come pull up the Nanit app. I freaking love the Nanit, bro. Like, you know what? I will put a link in bio for y'all to get the Nanit. Um, and I just chill. I watch her handle my business. I'm building another studio. So that's why all this studio crap is up here. But yeah, man, I'm going to show you how to get it in as a dad. See, look at that. She done flipped over, over there trying to reach for toys. See, it's really important to give her her, her time and not like have her all in my hands and on me all the time. Because number one, I'm not going to get nothing done. And number two, this is really her time to like explore herself and learn and like really see what it is she enjoys doing, what toys she likes best. Crap like that. Like I'm learning. She don't really give a crap about this thing. She really don't be caring about it. She likes this little rubber remote and this little thingy. And her favorite is this little crinkle, crinkle crap. The ksh, ksh, ksh. Like, she's a very simple baby. Just let her feel something interesting and, like, just explore something and chew on something. That's her favorite. Because she can't chew on this, she don't like it. So, that's my little princess. Also, I'm watching to make sure she don't put her feet in them damn bars and, like, flip and break her damn leg. Because who's explaining that? So... Shout out to the nanny, man. Shout out to the nanny. As you see, nothing's been crossed off on this thing. Like, I've been chiseling away. I, I got 50 push-ups down, so I got 150 more. Um, I'm going on my YouTube now, and I'm, like, recording screen recordings of the videos I recently uploaded. And I'm going to chop those up and put them in Reels and Instagram. So once I do this, I'll be able to come through and knock all this down. So all of this is actually being worked on now, but I don't cross it out until I'm done with it. So check back in. Oh, why she not in my hand? Let me show you these katushas, bro. I can't see, but as you see, that's Arabic or whatever country. This one's from Egypt. These two are from Kuwait. That's why they look different. But on the other side, as you see, it's everybody's name. Boom. Family. Look at how she done flipped around. See? She's six months. Like, she just turned six months yesterday. And look at this little baby just flipping around. As you see, she is trying to get these buttons. Like, she's trying to figure out pressing buttons. So that's why I just leave it in there. Like, she won't mess with it every day, every time. But sometimes she'll get to him. Like, you know what? Today might be the day I'm going to get this elephant to light up. So as you see, she's trying to chew on it. Realizing she can't. Might be getting pissed off. But I'm confident she going to hit that damn button. All right, so here's how, here's my flow. I do something over there. I come over here and I bang out some more push-ups. Like I said, I done hit 50 already. Here we go. Let's get it. <laughs> 50. That's 50. So we had 100. So I got 100 more push-ups. So guess what? I'm going to come over here. Do something else. So as you see, I'm sending the footage. I'm supposed to send. So send footage to be synced. Almost done. I got two more cards to send after that. So then I'm gonna cross that out. We just chisel. My rule for life is chisel. Just take all the stuff you gotta do and handle and just chisel away. That's all you could ever do with your problems. Pile them up, handle one thing at a time. What's wrong, Dougie? It's so interesting. Like, she's really moving around. Like, she's learning to crawl in this thing. Like, I'm watching her just evolve. Like, this is, oh, shit, she got her passy. She got her passy. Oh, shit, look at this. She gonna hit that button. Don't give up. She about to hit the fuck out of this button. <gasps> she did it. She did it. You did it. I'm doing some push-ups. That's it. Let's do these push-ups. She done hit the button. 
I don't hit any these push ups. Let's, let's get it. You know what time it is. All right, we got 75. We got, no, we got 150. I got 50 more. Let's see what's wrong with this baby. What's up, little girl? What's up, little girl? What's wrong? You wanna come out? All right. Let me get her. See, sometimes she just be wanting to get out just to watch Miss Rachel better. Here she go, living up on this thing here. She loves it. Sensory. Yes, Bookie, you're grabbing. You're grabbing. You gotta let it spin though. Let it spin. You're tangling it. It's getting tangled. There you go. Good job. What's this? So the situation is she can't stay in the crib too long. She gets bored. She gets tired of the same thing. So after a while, especially if I'm not done with my to-do list, I just sit in here put on more Miss Rachel. She just loves to like explore. She's an exploring baby, so she's gonna be like a scientist or something, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we got some check marks. We got some check marks in the bitty. So these, on my post, they're gonna get chiseled because I'm posting the same video I just posted on my two Instagrams on my two Facebooks. I'm gonna post the same one on my Instagram on my TikTok. And then guess what? I'm gonna go on Google. And I, honestly, I, I probably just put a picture on Google because Google tends to give me a hard time with videos but the goal is every day i get up and i try to post to all my social medias and this is how i kind of make you know i guess stay up to date on it um youtube clip shares what i do is i go on my youtubes and i'll find an old video that i liked i'll screen record some clips and then i'll post that with the link in the uh, in my story um so let me go ahead and chisel some of this stuff out. I actually have 50 more push-ups. So you know what? Let's, let's make that out right now. We did some stuff. Let's do it. KK, about to do some push-ups, baby. Look at her. Look at my little baby. She's so cute. Let's get it. 50. Mm. Last 50. Let it day. Let's go. Ooh. You know what time it is? You know what we about to do. We about to come over here. Ready? What the fuck are you talking about? Let's go. Nothing feels better than finishing a task. She's just gonna chill. She's gonna chill there. I'll give her a good, she's probably gonna chill there for like 20 minutes. So I got 20 minutes to bang out as much as I can. And I still gotta wash them bottles. Them bottles are still dirty. So let's get it. I'll be back. All right, so as you see, my iPad died. So there goes the to-do list. I'm gonna plug it up, do some more cross outs. Um, a really important thing I like to try to do every single day is I post on Bigger Pockets. As you can see, I'm a premium member, which is kind of a big deal. But I come in here every day. I click the forums tab. I'll find a topic that kind of relates to me. This one's about, you know, this guy lives in Japan and he wants to start investing in other states. That's what I do. Um, I'm letting him know that, look, I help foreign buyers by doing the showings on FaceTime or Zoom calls. You don't have to step foot in the state to buy in the state. I also pointed out that South Florida is really popular amongst out of state buyers. Um, mind you, I'm doing all of this work while this little girl here got tired of that too. So she got tired of the crib. She got tired of that. She no longer cares about Miss Rachel. It's daddy time. But guess what? The grind don't stop. Look at her. Look at her playing on my thing. Look at her. Look at this. You on the camera? So. We gonna keep this day going. We gonna keep this day pushing. I'm done with my push-ups, thank God, because I was a little tired. But yeah, so we got our bigger pockets post out. Um, I actually got a lead. Um, here, let me show you how the bigger pockets leads look. I highly suggest every agent get a bigger pockets account. Um, right here, leads, boom. So as you see, it's been a while since my last lead, just because I kind of got off of this for a while. But since I've been posting, 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 boom, they're starting to come back in. Um, here's an example of how many leads I get in. Organic means I did not pay for this lead. They literally contacted me from my post. Um, literally every day forums, you find a topic that's interesting to you and give your two cents. That's it. It's bigger pockets. So while we wait on the iPad to charge, I just give her a little attention. So we're just going to sit here, chill, watch some Miss Rachel. I hope you can't see my toe down there. Watch some Miss Rachel. Probably give it an episode. And then when the iPad is charged up, we back at it. She eats every three hours, so it's almost time for her to eat. And then, so how her schedule works is she wakes up at like seven, she'll eat and she'll stay up for that. 
three hour period. But then that 10 o'clock bottle, that puts her out. So when she goes to sleep for her 10 o'clock nap, I'm gonna try to bang out all those bottles over there, try to wash it, try to clean up. Um, she will normally sleep for about an hour or two, but sometimes you can't really be too sure. She'll go down, lay down and wake right back up. So I just try to rush through and clean the whole house up in that first nap. Then she's up, she'll be up for maybe five hours after that. And then she'll go down for one more nap around like, what, three o'clock, four o'clock. And she's out until four, five, five, six, six, seven. That's her big three hour nap. She'll be out until like seven o'clock and then her mom gets home at seven forty-five, eight o'clock. So it's not that bad. Working with dad, we be chilling. Shout out to inclusiveness. I don't got time to be shaking no bottles. And now we wait. One more Rachel. She made it. And daddy about to get his business handled. All right. So we did it. She sleep. But I can't get up right now. I have to wait. Because see, she's, she just went to sleep. So if I get up too early, she's going to wake right back up. So I'm going to let her chill for about five minutes, get into a deep sleep, then I'm gonna lay her down and get back on my grind. So I will talk to you when I'm back on my grizzy. Oh, and if you're curious about this pillow behind me, it's a penis. It's a penis. Judge your mother. All right, it's bottle time, baby sleep. I hate this part, but guess what? You gotta do it. We about to wash and sterilize these bottles. Watch. Nailed it. So this thing only holds six bottles. <sighs> and I had 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and sterilize this six. That is frustrating when it don't close all the way. It's all good. I'm just gonna drop that one down there. Another thing that be frustrating with this thing is when you wash a bottle or a top and it falls before you even get to sterilize it. Like you done washed it and sterilized it and it still falls. 30 minutes, boom. So, let that do its thing. And I'm gonna wash the rest of these and I'm gonna put them on this towel so they can chill while we wait for that to be done. Then we sterilize these. We'll be back. Okay, baby sleep. Bottles is washed. Uh, I gotta wash the clothes. But as you see, majority of my to-do list is done and it is only 10.30. So that's the joys of waking up early. Um, I really gotta start reading this book, The 5 a.m. Club. I was just so consumed with vlogging, but I'm gonna definitely read that while I probably bang out the rest of this st stuff. So all I got left to do is make some screen recordings from my old YouTube videos, share some stuff in my Instagram stories with links, and then there's two classes I'm writing for my agents. Uh, remember, I'm a real estate broker. So I'm writing a class on offer presentation, how to present your offer to heighten your odds of acceptance. And a first time home buyer course, a course for agents who want to work specifically with first time home buyers, just so they know what to expect. After I do that, we're pretty much done with this day. Um, so really it's just coasting, marketing, answering phone calls, answering emails and editing. So this little girl did not stay asleep more than an hour. But luckily I got the bottles washed. Um, I need to do her laundry, so guess what? We gonna give her some more Miss Rachel time. You wanna see some more Rachel? You wanna see some Miss Rachel? You want this dog? You wanna pet this dog? You wanna pet this dog? My hand is purple. You wanna pet that dog? No, I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna leave it. I'm taking it. It's gone. This thing is actually supposed to be for like shoes and socks, but it's a toy chest today. Oh, shout out to the Bentley. Shout out to the big Bentley. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to LaShawn. Thank you, Lele. Don't be putting no regular detergent on your baby stuff. Make sure you get the baby stuff. All right. It's going down. Clothes wash. What are you talking about? Done. Done. Now we come back over here. 
It's our handy dandy to-do list. I already checked it off because I already like believed in myself that I'll do it. But almost done. Four more things to do. Quick things too. Let's knock it out. That's the five conversation. I started the book, magnifying my creativity. And here I am. Wonderful music uplifts my Working on my first time home by a classmate. My so, and all really, I'm just coming through with my handy dandy Apple Pencil. That is to telling me that my daughter is in there moving around. So, let's see what the hell she's doing. You know? What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? That uplifting humankind you bad as hell. Get your feet out of there. The real See, purpose of commerce is not only to make your personal fortune. Right the true reason to be in the game is to be helpful Little girl. to society. Little girl. My main focus in business Why you got your feet all in the bar so? Money, power, Why and you got your feet all in the bar so? Move this. Move this. You watching Rachel old or no? And remarkable friend taught me you this watching way Rachel or no? Or Rachel man. watching you? It totally what are you doing? The state of my prosperity you chilling? Can I go back to work? private freedom. And this contrarian business philosophy has dominated my way of doing things ever since. Who knows? Look at this. Maybe I'll introduce my mentor to you sometime. I'll leave for two the seconds. Paused. He stood his large watch. I'm Next, turning you. He closed his eyes and said That's these enough for words. That. Own your morning. Elevate your life. As if by magic. A fairly small and quite thick piece of white paper appeared in the palm of his outstretched left hand. So now it's daddy time. We watch you some fantasy football advice from my team. KK chilling with me. This is how we get her to go back to sleep. You sleepy? You sleepy, Boogie? I'm sure she'll go back to sleep and I'm going to get back to the grind. <laughs> back to the grind. So she sleep. I'm going to try to put her down again. And finish my to-do list. Here we go. All I got left is two classes to write. We're going to write the first time home buyer course. And we're going to attempt to write. I mean, honestly, it's 11 o'clock. So we're gonna write the first time home buyer course, and we're gonna write the what was the other one? Offer presentation course. So we're just gonna do the PowerPoint notes, and then I'll come back, go over it again, finalize it, and I'll schedule the presentation of it. So let me put this baby down. I'll be back. So KK still asleep. I'm having a little lunch break slash breakfast. Oxtails. First thing I'm eating today at 12 18 on daylight savings so this this is like normally 1 18 so you think about that so boom you know i'll be cooking so and in true kk fashion she is back awake it has been i managed to eat like a oxtail and a half it's all good though all right so we did it she in there chilling i was able to get this Working with first time home buyers class drafted up, typed out. We ready to go. So I always like to write it and then I come back. Let me show you me. Hold on, let me let's switch cameras. So let me stop me and us with the game. Because as you see, when I'm working, I tend to have like a podcast or something motivational going in the background. So I finished the class, wrote it out. Um, what I like to do is I like to write it. And then I leave it alone and come back, usually the next day, just so I can look at it, really analyze it and see how I feel about it. And then I explain it in my head. So this is just a rough draft, um, but that's really the key points of my day. So what I've done that I wasn't able to document was I have a team of 15. So a few of my agents did call me with their various issues. Um, I walked them through it. Just to give you an example, one agent, we have a listing together and we keep getting offers from the buyer to try to reduce the contract price the seller is agreeing to reduce the price to an extent but they want us to do a wow reduction like for example they wanted i think fifty thousand dollars off then twenty five thousand dollars off we're like we'll give you ten and they just keep coming back asking for more and more so we're probably just gonna have to tell them to go to hell 
In fact, I did say, tell him to go to hell. Um, I hope he didn't specifically say that, but if he did, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, another agent called because he has a buyer who's interested in doing seller financing. So I kind of broke down things he would need to know. Um, what I told him was, well, you want to know how much is the seller expecting your buyer to put down? You want to know how much of a term is the seller looking for? Because they usually don't want to do a 30 year payment. They'll usually say, we'll do it in 10. We'll do it in five because they're expecting you to get another loan from an actual lender to pay this one off. And then you're refinancing with a better rate. Also, he needed to know what kind of more uh, interest rate they were looking for. Um, I also had a couple other calls from other agents who just had questions on like the showing they had coming up or rental they had coming up. Um, I'll try to figure out a way to document these calls, but I'm recording on my phone and I kind of need to like be honest. I don't see how I record while I'm on it. But as I do more things through the day, I'll try to buzz in. The biggest thing I'm trying to do is work out negotiating the keys on a new studio suite. Well, a new office suite to build another podcast studio in. Um, I thought I had it worked out and I had the money to the side ready to give it to him. But then it turns out I needed like an extra 50 percent of what I had to the side. So I'm trying to negotiate to see if they'll just give me the keys of what I got because they're talking about moving me back to December. And I already done told so many people I was getting these keys. So let's see what we can work out. I'll keep I'll, I'll be in touch. OK, so as you hear. I got a totally awake baby, but I finished everything. So what I'm doing here, let me see if you can see. Yes. Okay. So I go through the online educational calendar with the Miami Association of Realtors and I just scrub through it every week and I pick out what I feel would be the most beneficial classes for the week. Um, and then I come here and I put it in an email and I send it to my team. So hopefully they look through it, they find something that likes them and that way I can kind of make sure that every week somebody has something going on. And as you see here, I also am a member of Aura, which is the Orlando Board of Realtors. I have one agent in Orlando. So if you're in Orlando and want to join the team, feel free because we are on that board as well and you will be able to get your MLS membership and take care of the advantage of what I do here. So as you see, um, just to kind of give you the classes I put them on to, um, rentals, farming and marketing. Let's do rentals. I'm really big on rentals. I don't care how big of an agent you are. Do rentals because renters come back and buy. Um, I'm at tax roll solutions. It's really important to know how to navigate the tax roll, how to find the owner of properties, how to find their mailing address. I'm at does all that for you. How to be Instagram famous. I just thought that would be interesting to see what they could learn. How marriage affects the closing. That's important. Luxury 101 because some of my agents do enjoy doing nice, you know, high class properties and showings. Who doesn't like to look at a nice luxury condo? Um, understanding Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac conventional mortgages. Why not get better versatile versus in loans and farming for listings? And I also every week, I also give them the full calendar just because they want to keep looking beyond the week that I'm telling them about and schedule whatever classes or trainings they want. So I really think that was a very impactful day. Um, it's 2.57 right now. So it's about three o'clock. I started my day at 5 a.m. Um, my to-do list itself is done, but pretty much the rest of the day, I'm just going to coast, respond to phone calls, emails, and feed hungry babies. So I'm going to edit this vlog out. Let's see how frequently we vlog. I don't know. I'm going to try to do it daily, maybe weekly. I don't know. But I'm going to edit this up. I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to put it out. I might put it out in like Instagram stories or something just to start and fill it out. But yeah, Khalid is back on YouTube. I had to stabilize and figure my life out and I feel like I nailed it. So let's see where this goes. Dun, 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 dun. Investment property gurus. I was trying to like exit music or theme music, whatever.